Morning guys, if you didn't get the gist of what I said a couple of hours earlier, basically, I think I was downstairs yesterday evening, it was about half twelve, then I basically turned away, then it was 2am, then I put my laptop down, that was the last thing I remembered, and then it was 5am in the morning, I must have fallen asleep, but I do find lifeguard shifts really knacker me up. Oh, will you sh We've got a starling nest and they just don't be quiet. I would stay and chat, but I've got church a bit later and I've got to do an eight mile run now and then I'm going to be doing some snatch practice when I get back. Come and say hello. Kimmy. There you go. Hello. What are you doing? Oh, you don't see anything to say? What's up YouTube? This is Albert Aldridge of AlbertAldridgeFitness.com, the nutrition coach. Thank you very much for clicking on the video. It's an absolute pleasure having you. I recently had an exam. I had it last Friday and there were lots of you who sent me best wishes for the exam and I really do appreciate that because the exam, basically, if any of you go to university, you know that for any kind of essays, you have to refer to previous articles that have been published by researchers and then you cite them within the essay and put the textbook that you got it from or the article you got it from with their author's names at the end of your essay in a reference list. But with this exam, we had to do seen and unseen questions, but also refer to literature and cite the references from the top of our heads. Not the full reference list at the end, but just the insight references. It was flipping hard. Now it's behind me though, I'm gonna be doing a lot more live sessions with my social media on my YouTube channel with my Instagram and stuff. If you haven't followed me on Instagram or Facebook, I'll put my name on the screen and links to my Facebook and Instagram on the screen so you can go and check me out if you want to. I post on there every couple of days and what I do is I talk about diet tips, I refer to previous scientific articles and give you insights into training tips and things about diet, weight, training, physique, etc. If you've never watched a full day of lean bulking, what it consists of is in the previous video I let you guys know that I take your suggestions and eat what you guys would like me to eat because then in the next full day of eating I pick two of these ideas at random and then show you how you can incorporate these foods into any sort of nutrition plan that is allowing you to lose weight or gain weight, gain muscle, tone up, whatever your goal is. Because as a nutrition coach and with the clients I work with, I preach flexible dieting. Because you can reach at least 7% body fat by following a flexible dieting approach. So if you have a suggestion for my next full day of lean bulking, do leave it in the comment section below right now. I picked two of the suggestions from my previous video. Thank you very much for posting them and I'm going to be revealing them throughout this day of eating. Time to get the first meal. Like that. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yeah. Meal one, you could say. I don't really tend to structure my eating with meals, but I seem to develop habits. I will note today is a rest day from the gym because I have got my bigger, faster, stronger workout routine that I am going to finish doing all the videos for. So I used to do intense heavy weight training seven days a week alongside my running. But now on the seventh day, which is Sunday, which is today, I do a much longer run. So instead of four, I did 8.3 miles today. But then after that, I practice a lot of movements, which I'm still trying to master the skill of. So for example, handstand push-ups. I do a lot of snatch technique work clean and jerk and I do a bit of stretching as well. So because I run a lot further and I still do a little bit of body weight stuff, let's say on a rest day. Well, no, I don't want to even say it's a rest day. It's not really a rest day at all. Basically, my calories don't change. But time to show you the meal. Here I've got eight pieces of Tesco Valley dark chocolate, two chocolate chip rice cakes from Snacker Jacks and two caramel Snacker Jacks under there. Plus, I'm going to be having some plain corn things with this and a Greek yogurt pot. But I wanted to show you me getting it out because we have a secret stash. So this is a pool table in my garage and under here, voila, we have, oh my goodness, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, at least 15 packets of Sainsbury's corn things, but there's four mini packets in a big pack. I would say about at least 10 chocolate corn things, but again, you get four in per pack, so it's 40 mini packs. And you've got endless amounts of caramel rice cakes and chocolate chip rice cakes. So I'm going to be taking one of these 
mini corn bins. And then I'm going to be taking one of these Danone Light Greek Yogurts Raspberry 61 calories. And they taste pretty good. I have a meal one. I'll see you soon. Do you want to? Really? Go Dad, you want to? First thing that comes to your head when I say chaffage. Bird. Ostrich. Egg. Tomatoes. Ketchups. Trainers. Running. Weightlifter. AA Fitness. <laughs> Have you got anything else to say? This is the person who makes the nicest food. You're welcome. Da 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 Oh, what's this? These are choc chip cup rock cakes. I'm so again. You bought these are milk chocolate rock cakes. Mhm. Mm on the top tier and the bottom tier are plain chocolate chips in rock cakes. Mhm. Mm Fresh out of the oven. bowl right here I have got 120 grams of couscous weighed up dry one slice of Sainsbury's Edam slices which is about 80 calories each and then 140 grams of chicken ticker slices from Tesco weighed out dry and then I'm going to put some tomato ketchup and garlic salt on top this is a standard meal that I have ordered that's my grandparents this is a standard meal I like to have and I'm afraid I've got staff training in half an hour so I'm gonna to have to put this in the microwave be really quick and then I'm gonna show you some more fun stuff when I get home from my staff training. I do apologise about the rush I had before staff training. It's just because it was around 25 to 7. I needed to eat something before I left to go to staff training. But I've forgotten to tell you that I've had two hot chocolates during today. And I am going to be trying these foods very, very soon. But just want to tell you about one thing first. At the moment, I've been eating between 3,925 to 3,975 calories a day. About 50 calorie difference. A little bit of flexibility there. But what I'm going to be doing now across a 12 week period I believe our family are going on holiday at the end of August roughly I would like to get a little bit leaner for that trip but I don't want my strength to be affected at all and I'd still like to keep progressing with my strength that is a massive part of CrossFit and I need to be able to front squat back squat and deadlift very big numbers so I'm going to be taking 100 calories away from my diet for the next three weeks so basically I'm going for 3,925 and I've gone down to 3,825 I'm doing that for three weeks and that started last Monday. This process is going to end by the middle of August but by June I'm going to have reduced my calories again to 3,725. Another three weeks will go by I'll reduce it by 100 again a day. Three weeks will go by again another 100 a day until eventually I'm around 3,425 calories a day but I want to be really really gradual with my calorie deductions so my strength isn't affected but so I can get a little bit leaner. This meal should be insane. I had a subscriber kindly suggest in my previous full day of lean bulking to try yum yums. I've never tried them before, but from just opening the packet, because I got a pack of 12 mini yum yums from Sainsbury's, they smell like the outside of a donut. I've had a normal Krispy Kreme in the past and they smell very similar to that. That Krispy Kreme was epic. So before this, I'm gonna show you once I've made it, but I'm gonna have my porridge protein powder and frozen berries concoction. And this is what I'm gonna have immediately after that. I'm gonna have one of these Sainsbury's chocolate corn thins. And then on the side, I'm going to have 12 pieces of Tesco Valley dark chocolate, 22 calories a piece. And then I'm going to have these yum yums. Time for a live taste test of my first ever yum yum. Here's a piece. Get a sniff of what it tastes like. Let's give it a go. 
Not bad. If I'm honest, I thought it was gonna kind of crumble a bit more in my mouth because of it being so... I don't know what the word is. I just remember with the Krispy Kreme it being a bit more kind of melt in your mouth. That wasn't so much, but it still tasted epic and it had the same flavour as the normal Krispy Kreme I had. Flavour, 9.5 out of 10. The only reason for the 0.5 is because usually when chocolate's involved, I'm going to love it even more. But overall experience, 8 out of 10, because it was a lot more chewy than I expected it to be. Make sure you leave your suggestion of a food I should eat in my next full day of lean bulking in the comment section below. Here's what I'm having for my porridge concoction. Here I have got 63 grams of porridge oats weighed out dry with 27 grams of this whey protein. And then I've got 230 grams of Tesco frozen berries on top of this. And it's a combination of blackberries, strawberries, raspberries that are mashed up a little bit. Cranberries, I think, might even be in there. I'm gonna have this porridge concoction followed by the chocolate yum yums and the Sainsbury's chocolate corn things I showed you, and then I'm gonna bring you back for my final meal. I'm afraid I've got to be 100% honest with you guys. I've got a bit of a confession. After I had the porridge, the yum yums, the chocolate and the corn things from Sainsbury's, my camera just shut off there, but it actually made me look at some footage from the morning of the day of eating, and I did exactly the same as I did that morning. So I was working on my laptop, it was about half past one in the morning, and then next thing I know, it's about ten past five in the morning, and I'm still sat there, and I hadn't had my dinner and my extra um, Sainsbury's corn things that I have. I just fallen asleep. Again. I think it's just because I've been working very hard up and towards this uni exam and now my body's like, what? I'm fine though. I'm going to overlay what I had last night, but to briefly explain, I had white potato with ketchup on the side and then I had green vegetables, a combination of green monge two beans as well as broccoli. And then I had chicken breast, which had a seasoning of Italian herbs and garlic salt. And straight after that, I had a combination of this Tesco chocolate crisp cereal and the chocolate loaded fuel from granola oh no it's a chocolate loaded fuel granola and actually i tell a lie it was actually this honey peanut crunch head not this one i've just finished filming my workout five of my bigger faster stronger workout routine and i'm going to be telling you also in that video something that i've got planned for the next three months but if you did enjoy this video please make sure you give it a like subscribe to the channel help support the growth of a fitness and i'll see you guys in my next video and at body power if any of you are there on friday Thank you.